found in the locker room. Each guy has been going over and through his own routine to get ready. But once they take the floor, they're one single unit. Clouds passing high over the 10th Avenue Bridge and the Mississippi River here in Minneapolis. A gorgeous scene. Welcome, folks, to what promises to be a great Tuesday night of the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Mark Kellogg and Greg Anthony. And giving us the rundown from the sideline, David Aldridge. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, good evening. Carl Anthony Towns is certainly the franchise player now for the Timberwolves. Kat said, you lead by action and you lead by words. I'm more of the action guy. When things get tough, I've got to be the guy that leads the charge. Kevin, he knows his role and he knows his place atop the Wolves franchise. Knows it very well, D.A. Thank you so much. I see the stat sheet here for him. And the biggest takeaway when you look at his numbers is how good his three-point shooting has been the past five games. He's finding the open spots on the perimeter, and when he's getting good looks, boy, he is not missing. Here are the starters for Milwaukee. Middleton and Giannis are the forward tandem. Dante DiVincenzo, he's out there at Bloodsaw. And it's Lopez in at the center, filling out the middle. And for Minnesota, Towns is out there with James Johnson. And it's Green, and it's McLaughlin in at the point. Break a game like this, two offensive juggernauts going head-to-head. -head. I mean, we're buckled in, ready to go. <laughs> yeah, I mean, listen, the rules favor offense uh, in today's game. That's why league-wide scoring is on the rise. And I would expect we're going to see a bucket or two put forth tonight, Kevin. No doubt. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Lopez. Offensive rebound. And to Kumbo. And that one drops for him. Really, you know what? Trying to keep Anthony Kumpo off the glass, that's a tough assignment because he's long and he can leap. Here's a Kogi. Plays it up and banks it in. First quarter of play, one minute played. And so it's Bledsoe. He brings it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Last time they met was in Milwaukee. And that one was all about offensive execution, running your plays, picking your spots. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. Here's McLaughlin. On his honor to Kumbo, making his last shot. Pass to Towns. The 17-footer. Shot is good off the back rim and in. Oh, I like that sweet-looking shooting stroke that Towns has. So polished and efficient. This mid-range J on the money. Now here's Bledsoe. He's coming off a 10-point game against Brooklyn. And even while he was piling up all those points, he still found a way to create chances for his teammates. The assists just kept on coming. Here's Johnson. Giannis Antetokounmpo making his last shot. Left side, Towns. It's good. Towns has got his second best. You know, of all the things Okogi does well, his passing tends to get overshadowed at times. I mean, easy to see how creative he is on this feed. Now, here's DiVincenzo. An 11-point game for him in the win against Brooklyn. Outside for Bledsoe. Shot clock at six. Here's the three. Gets the three-pointer to fall. Boy, they're on fire right now. Cooking with gas, starting this one out four or five. Zakogi, a 14-point game for him in the win against Cleveland. And GA Chris Middleton over his career, much improved. Look at that. Oh, oh my goodness. Watch out. And Anta Tukumpo is, is just fearless. I mean, hit him, knock him around. Really doesn't phase him. Doesn't matter. I mean, this guy is determined to get the job done. And he does. Find the lanes. Find the lanes. One shot. That's good from Antetokounmpo. You know, growing up in Greece, Giannis Antetokounmpo was so poor, he and his older brother, Thanasis, had to share a pair of tennis shoes. I mean, 
How about how far he's come since then? Now he's the first foreign-born player ever with his own Nike signature shoe. Major posterization right there, guys. The defender gave him up way too much height. All he could do was try to get out of the picture. Pass to Antetokounmpo. Here's Middleton. That shot is off. Johnson with some nice D. And Clark, they say back in Greece, all of Giannis' basketball shoes were hand-me-downs from his teammates. Greg, nothing like not having enough to drive you to get more. I mean, clearly, you think about Giannis and his background and where he is now, he and Thanasis. Oftentimes, we take turns playing in the game, swapping the same pair of shoes. Those days are long behind both of them. Giannis, high post try. That's no good, but just his first miss in five shots. The pass to McLaughlin. The kick out to town. Off target from three-point range. Bucks leading by six. And Bledsoe, here we go. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Bledsoe's got five points so far. So the Timberwolves called their first timeout, coming into this having notched a win against Cleveland in their last game. And that was not an easy game for them. I mean, they barely hung on at the end of regulation before they were able to pull it out in overtime. And it could turn out to be one of their biggest wins of the season. I mean, just because of the way they came through when it mattered most, that's, that's clutch play that could serve them well going forward. at some stats for Giannis Antetokounmpo. This last month, he's been positively spectacular, averaging about 31 points, 15 rebounds, and six assists. And you talk about guys who just have a nose for putting up points. He is one of them. Yeah, he sure is, and he rarely has back-to-back -back bad games. If he has an off night, he usually follows that up with a big night. Here's Towns, and he can't bank that one in. Bucks leading by eight. The 19-foot shot. They grab their own miss. Out of bounds. Minnesota takes possession. Let's take a peek now here at the league leaders in rebounding. Second, down is under the Kumbo. And you can't win games without rebounding the basketball. That's what has made him such an important part of what they do. For Minnesota, they've gone four for nine from the field to start this game off. Towns looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. Well, I like the way Towns reads where the ball is coming off when it's missed. Man. He's got excellent timing as well and did a good job beating everybody to the ball. Now here's Middleton. His last outing with 20 points. How about the springs of this guy out to Tacumpo, also known as the Creek Freak? I mean, he just gets up off the ground like a rocket on these alley-oop chances. And really, the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts, doing all he can to bring him back. Here's Giannis in the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And Antetokounmpo is just a blur. I mean, I don't know how a seven-foot guy with that wingspan and all legs and arms can be a blur, but man, he's like a lightning bolt when he gets room to roll to the basket. And Towns gets it to go. And he's clearly led the way offensively. The question is, can they ride him and get back into it? Passes to Middleton. Back to DiVincenzo. Over Green. DiVincenzo can't hit it. Timberwolves trail by five. Here's a Kogi. And uh, right now, he's averaging about seven points a game. And it's sent back by Lopez. Big Brook Lopez gobbling up space and getting the block on that play. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they've shot the basketball. Time out, time out. Very high percentage so far. And if you want to start a game hot, that's the way to do it. Minnesota calls timeout. All right, Target
some changes for Minnesota. Omari Spellman comes in for James Johnson. And Lehman subbed in for Josh Akogi. Lehman pass to McLaughlin. Feeds it to Towns, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. And you talk post up, face up, you name it. Carl Anthony Towns gets it done. Yeah, you know what, Greg? He's really molded that versatility into his game. I mean, he can pass it, drive it, shoot. You remember, he won the skills challenge back in 2016. I mean, he's a seven-footer for sure, but he's got guard skills, too. And the Timberwolves have made it clear. Carl Anthony Towns is their franchise player. He's the guy they're building around. And that one's good by Giannis. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Burks against Green. Whistle blows. That's going to be a travel. And we've heard Towns for years pronouncing his happiness with the Timberwolves. Last season, Greg, as the losses piled up, some rumors that he was getting frustrated. Well, we've seen this pattern with the Timberwolves before, right? Kevin Garnett, Kevin Love, all-star big man who ended up leaving the Twin Cities to win titles. Juan Hernan Gomez, he's checked in for Minnesota. Antetokounmpo passes to Hill. Bucks passing it around. Burks against Green. The kick out to Hill. Bangs home the trifecta. Three. And it's a nine-point Bucks lead. How many times have we seen a possession take that from them today? Ending with a basket coming off a pretty pass. Well, when you look at the assist totals, heck, they've been clearly the better team. Here's Spellman. 20 points for him last game against the Cavaliers in Cleveland. It made a big mark at the free throw line as well. He got himself to the strike a lot and cashed in when he had his chance. Here's Giannis following the bucket by the Timberwolves. On the wing, Giannis. Good, the assist goes to Hill. Ante Dekumbo's got 17 now. And Ante Dekumbo really, you know, building on his shooting. That's impressive to see. No way the defense catches up to him when he's rising up right after he gets the pass. No way. And two shots coming up at the line as he gets fouled on the shot. That's his first first and guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for Milwaukee. Fellas, they're passing the ball the way you're supposed to here in this first half. Something else they've been able to do so far tonight is earn those tough points in the paint. Two, two. Free throw good, Green. Both free throws good from Green. And here's Giannis. He'll bring it up for the Milwaukee Bucks. Seven point differential. They're coming off that win against the Nets. Yeah, I mean, we saw them do a little bit of everything in that game. Showed a lot of versatility. And, you know, everything seemed to just kind of flow naturally for them. It felt like they were in a groove from the opening tip. And the Timberwolves with possession here following Alec Burks's three point attempt. Here's McLaughlin. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. How about that wonderful floater he has? Showing off an exquisite touch. Here's Burks. He's now one for two with that bucket. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. High octane action for sure. Crowd pleasing already. Here's McLaughlin. He had a 15 point outing in their last game against Cleveland. And even if he took away his points, he was still an offensive force because of his passing. His assist numbers were tremendous. And so it's Milwaukee with it. After the basket by Minnesota. And the dunk by Giannis. And Antetokounmpo is an excellent penetrator. Moves as a man much smaller would. I mean, this guy's seven feet tall with that kind of agility. Just finds ways to knife inside the lane and finish through contact. Really impressive. 
And a chance here to see where the Bucks currently sit in the NBA statistically. And how about that assist rate? Great chemistry offensively. Playing with one mind, if you will, all on the same page. That's special basketball we're witnessing here tonight. First free throw is good. Gary Payton has checked in for Milwaukee. Grant comes in for Burks. And good on the second, so he makes them both. We've got 118 left here in the opening quarter. see the stats for George Hill. How last month turned out for him. He's putting up nine points a game, three assists, and three rebounds. And he's very steady with that second unit, running the offense and getting them into their Shoot sets. Two. Right. I mean, your backup point guard simply has to hold the fort, maintain the status quo, share the basketball, and minimize mistakes. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Making it look effortless. Send this guy to the stripe. He's going to cash in more than not. Pass to Hernan Gomez. Pass to Reed. Down low. Five to shoot. Green finds Hernan Gomez. Vanderbilt misses. Bucks leading by seven. Tries from 16 with the second effort. And Giannis with the layup. Giannis has got 21. Monster quarter for him. He's put the team on his back, trying to carry them to the W. Peyton against Hernan Gomez. The pass to Reed. Over on Stacumbo. And he overshot that one, missing. That's a very low percentage shot. Not good basketball at all. One he probably should have passed on. Grant gets a wide open look. Good. And it's Giannis picking up the assist. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive board. I'll tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with tons blazing. need this and that shot was up in time but doesn't go in and as the first quarter wraps up already a double digit lead bucks ahead they lead by 12 and we'll get it going after this from the target center and catching up with carl anthony towns he talked about what this team needs to improve upon to get to the next level talk about the message of discipline sometimes our discipline gets away from us and I think that's what happens on our defensive end you know that our discipline um, lacks and we're starting playing free basketball and uh, it's not team basketball and Greg of course we see many teams having this issue the game is so fast-paced now it's hard for guys to value each and every possession that often leads to careless play at both ends and welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And quite a position here for the Bucks to be in. What do you think, guys? They came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. And it's Reed in at the five. So that's the lineup for Minnesota. The first free throw is good. And he makes both free throws. And Josh Okoji, a rugged wing defender out of Georgia Tech. Yeah, and he takes an awful lot of pride in that aspect of his game, Greg. He wants to lock people up. Always active with his hands around the ball. 
Now here's Peyton. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Just four to shoot. Tries a three. And another three for Milwaukee. And that's back-to-back -back threes. The D just seems to be slacking off a little bit. Second quarter of basketball, about one minute played so far. That shot off. The Bucks go the other way with it. I'd love to see them impose themselves a little more on the backboard. That's a great way to find confidence. Always a surefire way to get back in the game. Well, guys, they need to do something to reduce this deficit. We'll see if that's the answer. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. Oh, phenomenal alley-oop slam there. They are taking advantage of a team that looks lost out there. Boy, I tell you what, guys, this is really getting close to being real ugly. Here's a Kogi. Six points for him. And that one, good. A Kogi's got eight points. Boy, watch how a Kogi powers his way to the finish. Presses off the contact like it's not there and gets it to go down. And how about that? What a sensational finish. Hey, you, you got to be able to get some hang time to do that one. Yeah, to glide in and reverse it home like that, so sweet. Okoki makes the shot. Basket number four this game brings him up to four for nine. And Milwaukee time out, time out. calls their first time out of the game. Every time out, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Towns checked in for Juan Hernan Gomez. Milwaukee also making some changes. Chris Middleton's checked in for Peyton. Dante DiVincenzo comes in for Jaron Grant. And it's Eric Bledsoe in for George Hill. And you know, this is why people are so high on Antetokounmpo. I mean, his build and skill set are both platinum level. And he knows how to kick his game up a gear, too. Passes it to Towns. No good. Shot missing. Excellent D there from Bledsoe. DiVincenzo finds Giannis. He gets that one. Giannis has got 10 points in the quarter. And, and really keeping the ball hopping around here offensively. The last five trips they've had have ended with a great pass leading to a basket. They're really sharing the sugar. Good. Boy, he's doing everything he can at this point. The rest of his teammates need to step up and give him some help. Back to Giannis. And the slam dunk by Antetokounmpo. And Giannis out of the Kupo has some major hops. At almost seven feet tall, he makes it look effortless. Here's McLaughlin taking a look at his stats. He's averaging around nine and a half points a game. And they've got a big lead, not just on the scoreboard, but really in the rebounding numbers as well. And what I like about it, it's been a physical brand of basketball. It's had a little sandpaper element to it gritty and rough, but that's how you win games. Give them credit. Offensively, they've been the more efficient team. Well, you know, it's been all high percentage shot for them so far. I mean, just the kind of execution you want in the first half. Here's a Kogi. Ten points for him. Here's Reed. The rebound by the Bucks. Middleton's got five rebounds tonight. And the wide-open shot from DiVincenzo. Good, and Bledsoe gets the assist. Three. Bledsoe's got his fourth assist in this one. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. McLaughlin, the pass to Towns, and it's good. That bucket takes him to nine for 14. 
You know, when you've got the touch and length that Towns has, you're able to knock these shots down over pretty decent defense. Loads it up for Giannis. Hammers the alley oop through. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And that's an alley-oop that'll be loop-to-loop -loop all day long on the highlight reel. Minnesota calls timeout. Greg, how hard is it to maintain focus this time of year when you know you're on a championship contending team? You know, some of that, I think, depends on the leadership you have in your locker room. Uh, certain guys just keep everybody engaged and motivated. And, and you know what? You've got to break the season down in, into chapters to help yourself with the motivation because sometimes that season can be so long and it's hard to stay focused in the present when you start thinking about the postseason. I agree. The Bucks making a switch here. Lopez is checked in. Still a ways to go between now and the three-point contest, but it's always fun to talk about it. Let's see who has the best shot to earn a spot in this year's event. And maybe this list changes between now and All-Star Weekend, but I don't think anybody would be disappointed if it stays exactly the same as it is right now. You take a look at Towns. He's going to need to leapfrog quite a few great shooters if he's going to be a part of the three-point festivities in All-Star Weekend. But, you know, maybe he can do it. I mean, it, anything's possible, especially if he has a few big games from beyond the arc before All-Star Weekend. That'd give him a nice bump in the voting. And we'll keep you posted as we find out more and as we get closer to the three-point contest once we have our final list of official contestants. Yeah, it's going to be very competitive. That, that's the one thing we all know. We, we've got an incredible group of long-distance shooters in this league right now. Here's Bledsoe after the made shot from Carl Anthony Towns. Nice ball movement by Milwaukee. Lopez, no luck. Timberwolves trail by 20 to the inside. And Towns throws it down. Yeah, Towns has given them a huge injection of scoring tonight. A fearless, aggressive performance from the big fella. Now DiVincenzo. Five points in the game. Beyond the arc, Carl Anthony Towns with the rebound. Towns has got five rebounds tonight. Here's a Kogi. Pass to McLaughlin. Here's a Kogi. The Timberwolves need to get a shot off here. Offensive rebound. Basket counts. Towns has got 26 points. Towns attacks the basket with such a ferocity and never give up attitude. I love that about him, guys. Middleton, power down after the assist, let him into the lane. And, and just a step ahead of the D in that possession there, making the pass. Nice assist. Kept alive, Towns. Lopez with the block. And now the fast break, Middleton with the ball. Here's DiVincenzo. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Yes. Middleton's got his fourth assist in this one. Middleton, a scorer by nature. That time showing you he can find his teammates, too. Here's McLaughlin. A shot by Johnson, no good. In the corner, it's DiVincenzo. Rebound by Akogi. Well, they'll be happy with that look, even though it didn't fall. You know what? That's a confidence shaker for him, though. I mean, that's a shot he expects to make every time. A slight rebound advantage for them. One more column in their favor, and it's all adding up. Well, you take a look at all of the stats, the team stats, that is, and that's one of the many areas that they've had the advantage. As a result, they've got a big lead. Once so comes over to help. Here's Lehman. Minnesota gets it back. And a new shot clock of 14 seconds. Goes back up. Milwaukee with the rebound. I wouldn't say that's exactly his spot now. I mean, and you can see why. Bledsoe kicks to DiVincenzo. Pass to Middleton. From 13, it's rebounded by Towns. Towns has got rebound number eight here tonight in the game. Johnson can't hit. Boy, patrolling the paint well, protecting the rim, that's exactly the kind of defensive effort you need against him. 
Back to Bledsoe. The lead pass was put in just the right spot. Nine points for Eric Bledsoe. Not lacking confidence in his scoring ability inside. Bledsoe knows he can do damage from there. The pass to Johnson. Trying to end the drought. Here's a Kogi. And the layup falls. A Kogi's got 12 points in the game. Well, that's his heads up play on the glass by a Kogi. Not only did he retrieve the rebound, he scored as well. Well, I like the way they're sharing the ball and Bledsoe right in the middle of spreading it around. And we heard Shaquille O'Neal bestow his Superman nickname on Giannis Antetokounmpo, and rightfully so. The Greek freak, the most dominant paint scorer since Shaq himself. Here's a Kogi. He's got 12. Giannis with it, now guarded by Towns. Now here's Bledsoe, defense right on him. Nice catch and finish on the alley-oop. Talk about execution on the offensive end. They're leaving nothing on the table right now. Yep, they're starting to stretch this lead out. Too much offense to keep pace with. Here's a Kogi. And Chris Middleton pulls it down. Middleton's got his seventh rebound here tonight. And watching out the Takumbo get to the rim, can GA take your breath away? <laughs> Man, he can go around you, through you, or literally jump right over you. Call him the freak, Superman, what have you. None of it feels like an exaggeration. The Bucks shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. And 74% has been the mark for them on the season thus far. Guys, their free throw shooting has slipped a bit since last year, but not really to the point where they should be overly concerned about it. Big group substitution now for Minnesota. Omari Spellman has come in for Johnson. Hernan Gomez comes in for Jake Lehman. Green, he's checked in for Josh Okogie. And Martin subbed in for Jordan McLaughlin. Bledsoe hits them both. And the key for Bledsoe, like it is for most players, is staying motivated and engaged. I mean... He's a big player for this team, an important player for this team. To the middle, here's Hernan Gomez. Off to a good start as he hits his first shot attempt. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. On to Takumbo with the bucket. Giannis has got 43 points. And not hard to see why they are giving up points on this run. Just too many good looks from in close. Here's Green, shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. It goes on Eric Bledsoe. For Minnesota, they have made the most out of their opportunities at the line. They have yet to miss in seven attempts. And taking a look at the numbers on the season, they've converted about 77% of those foul shots. And this year, they haven't quite been able to maintain the free throw percentage they had last season. And the first one drops. They've hit every one of their free throws here in the second quarter. Very important when you're trailing. Peyton, he's checked in for Eric Bledsoe. He's off on the second. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. Here's Martin following the bucket by the Bucks. Just one second between the shot clock and game clock. Passes it to Towns. Another shot, and contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It goes on Giannis Antetokounmpo. Showing determination inside. Towns absorbs the contact and gets the whistle for two. He made the only free throw attempt he had earlier in the game. And, you, you know, something I remember from their last game was how good he was at the line. Yeah, I agree with you. I mean, he attacked, got to the line a bunch, and cashed in on his chances. You know, guys, that's not quite the same success rate he had at the line last year, um, although it is somewhat in the neighborhood of last year's numbers.
and Towns drops them both. And you know, really, Towns is the total package a versatile score, skilled defender, and strong competitor. And so it's Milwaukee rolling along with a 27 point lead as we wrap up the quarter. The scoring has been tremendous, and they are shooting lights out with very high accuracy. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge standing by courtside. David. Thank you, Kevin. Here with Chris Middleton. Chris, it seemed like you all were dictating tempo in the first half. How did you do that? Okay, we're getting the styles, grabbing the rebound now, just trying to push it, trying to get the best shot available. Problem solved in transition. Thanks for your time. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly following halftime to get the third quarter underway. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey everybody, welcome to the 2K Sports Halftime Program. I'm Ernie Johnson alongside Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jetsman. A tremendous game we're seeing from Giannis Antetokounmpo. He went on an historic scoring frenzy, tallying a ridiculous number of points, two assists, and it was on the heels of his MVP season that Giannis Antetokounmpo said he was at 60% of his potential. Come on, Kenny, how much better can he be? Hell, my God, this guy might only be it. He's just now entering his prime, honey. and already arguably the best player in the league. Scary thought if he has another 40 set to If he really gets it going for the outside, WooWee.com. The game over for the league. He's already unstoppable at the room. WooWee.com. That's my new website, I'm sorry. Yeah. What percentage you feel like you're playing at today, Jeff? I'm about 90. You're about 90 yeah, today? Yeah, Shaq, what are you? I'm at about 72.755. I'm 56%, but I feel like, um, man, when I get that 100, might revolutionize video game, uh, the video game industry. I agree with you. And that's all we have for now. Tell the folks goodbye, Shaq. Tell the folks goodbye, goodbye. Kenny. Goodbye. Go to Kevin Harlan. And as we dive into the second half, we'll find out if the next two quarters are any different from the first two. So far, it has been a runaway. You look at Enetokounmpo, and this game has been everywhere. The way he was able to finish on the block was incredible there in that first half. You know what? I think he's doing exactly what he has to do, using his body, shaking off contact, and then finishing at the rim. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade, all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. On the court for the Bucks, Giannis is the four with Lopez the five. Lutzo is out there with Dante DiVincenzo. And it's Middleton in at the three spot. Offensively, defensively, they are in total control. And don't leave out the coaching staff here now. I mean, their game plan has been perfect. And with a break here, let's look at the stats for Eric Bledsoe. Averaging 13 points per game, four assists, and three rebounds. Even though his numbers have been more than solid, I think he'll want to step his game up to another level. Yeah, and you know, on paper, those numbers Shoot are two. terrific. Most players would be thrilled with those numbers, but as good as they are, I know this guy expects more of himself. And he makes the first. Josh Okogi was born in Nigeria, but moved to the U.S. with his family at three years of age, and he attended high school and college in Georgia. However, he does play for the Nigerian national team. Both shots good from the strike. Milwaukee has gone 5 of 8 from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blowing. And Minnesota gets called for the foul. And quite honestly, guys, Anta Tacumbo. Get that name right, folks. He's one of the most unique, talented players in the league. I mean, long arms, which really create a lot of problems for the defenders, whether he's passing or shooting. He's off on the first. Yeah, Ana de Kumpo has really learned how to get himself to the foul line. It's one of the easiest ways to score the ball. He gets to the stripe at a higher clip with each passing year.
And he sinks the second. Here's McLaughlin. Here's a Kogi. Another miss by Minnesota. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Bledsoe kicks to Lopez. DiVincenzo against Green. Just five on the clock. DiVincenzo can't hit it. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Here's a Kogi. And three chances on that possession, but they just couldn't find a way to score. Offensively, the struggles continue. 0 for 5 to start the half. And no doubt about it, in order for them to be successful, he has got to be a catalyst when it comes to scoring. Here's a Kogi. Uses the glass to finish the layup. A Kogi's got four points in the quarter. Well, I like this from a Kogi. I mean, still refining his perimeter game, so he makes his presence felt inside. And Giannis throws it down. Nothing soft about the putback there. And why chance it, right? Take the dunk if you've got it. Well, you know, if nobody's going to put a body on him, then that's going to be the result. Here's a Kogi. He's got 16. A shot, no good. Good D by Lopez. You know, he looks a little off kilter to me this quarter. Still trying to find his rhythm. The Timberwolves shooting under 40% all in all for the game. Just over two and a half minutes gone by here in the second half. Towns lays it up and in on the nice reverse. Towns has got 30. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. Minnesota making a switch here. Vanderbilt's checked in. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And guys, that's about as good a defensive play as you'll see. Instant reaction to get a hand to the shot. Now off the inbound, and that one off the back of the rim and in. Middleton's got eight points. Well, I like the fact that Middleton takes advantage of the mid-range jump shot. When he gets room to pull the trigger from there, he's taking it, and he's almost automatic. Now here's Johnson. He's still scoreless so far in this one. And Towns gets it to go. Really nice job to convert the putback opportunity there. I mean, he stayed with that play from start to finish. That's something we say about him a lot. On to Dekumbo against Johnson. Back to Giannis. Kicks to Lopez. Lock at six. Bledsoe looking it over. They get it back. A second chance effort, and it's good on the way up. Because of that big body and seven-foot frame, Lopez a handful to keep off the glass. Pass to Vanderbilt. Stolen by Middleton. Bloodsoe outside. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. Guys, I'll tell you what. feels like everything is coming easy to him. Just taking what he sees and capitalizing. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. Anytime you get as many points in the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going, and you just want to keep it going. And you've always heard of guys being in a zone shooting, but you can be in a zone passing the basketball, and we've seen that tonight as well. That free throw good from Bledsoe. Timberwolves shooting not great, 40% for the game. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's McLaughlin, guarded by Bledsoe. McLaughlin, the pass to Green. The shot's good. Green's got nine. Outstanding distribution there. I mean, what impressive passing ability. Here's Middleton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And you've got to be careful with Middleton down low. I mean, he's very talented at how he gets defenders to bite in the post. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. This season, he has been absolutely locked in at the free throw line. How about 90%? And, you know, with those numbers, he makes a defender hesitant to get too tight on him. I mean, he doesn't want to get whistled for the foul and put this guy on the line. And that one falls for Middleton. And Middleton, the former second-round pick now, has put a lot of work in on his game. I mean, a ton of work. Really carving out a nice spot in the league as a result of his hard work. Middleton hits them both. 
Here's McLaughlin. Anadokounmpo on the double team. The pass to McLaughlin. Here's Reed. And he uses the glass on the layup. Reed's got his first basket of the night. You got to do more than that to keep the ball out of his hands down low. Exactly. I mean, deny him the ball in the first place. Don't let him get it. That's his second. First now that we have the chance to show you the teams in the top of the NBA in steals this year. Hawks number one. And it's no accident to see them at that top spot, guys. I mean, great awareness and anticipation. They apply a ton of pressure defensively. And he knocks down the first one. Lehman, he's checked in for Minnesota. So he picks up just one from the line that time. Timberwolves have gone 5 of 12 from the field since the third quarter got underway. And the stroke definitely lacking confidence this quarter. Nothing on target. Here's Bledsoe. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Bledsoe's got 18 points. This is what Bledsoe loves doing. I mean, penetrating, probing, finding his way, looking to get close to the bucket. That's when he's at his best. Basket good. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Here's McLaughlin. Green taking his time here. Six on the shot clock. Passes it to Reed. Shoots. And once again off the mark by Minnesota. And not allowing the shooter even... To oh! oh, my great goodness! That was special! And their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word there, balanced. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. And the lack of effort to fight over the screen there makes that an easy shot. Well, I'm going to credit the screen. I mean, that's a good, strong pick he lays there. It does not get much easier than that, but somehow he came up empty there. Good on the three-point shot. He's got seven. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the D. And Bledsoe with the stuff. When Bledsoe is firing on all cylinders, I mean, you keep getting him the ball. It's just that simple. Pass to Vanderbilt. Outside, green. Rebounded by the Bucks. Middleton's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. And onto Takumbo, slams it in. And Middleton just does a little bit of everything out there. A perfect team player. Now, here's Green. 12 points for him. Pass to Reed. Over Middleton. Doesn't go for him. So, Milwaukee will take it the other way. Here's Grady. Good, and the assist goes to Middleton. Middleton's got 10 assists here tonight. So active. Bledsoe comes over to help. Here's Vanderbilt. And he takes that one up and powers it through. And that is textbook perfect. The bounce pass. Exactly how you want to throw it. Here's Bledsoe. Lays it up off the glass. Bledsoe's got 26. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. And you know, it doesn't matter how good your defense is on the perimeter if you're going to allow easy ones inside like that. Here's Lehman. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. And a moment here to check out the numbers for Middleton. He's putting up about 20 points per game, five assists, and five rebounds. It's hard to wrap your head around numbers like these, but that is just what he delivers night in and night out. You know, it's so easy for us to take him for granted, to get spoiled with what he does. I think we've got to be more appreciative of the kind of impact this man has in every game he plays. First one falls for him. A different look for Milwaukee. Gary Payton has checked in for Chris Middleton. Alec Burks comes in for Jaron Grant. And George Hills subbed in for Eric Bledsoe.
good on both. This is as good as it gets from the charity stripe here in the second. Yeah, you know what? And I think they've just got to keep on keeping on. Keep drawing contact, attacking, getting to the line. That will certainly give them a chance to get back into the game. There's the lob, and Kumbo throws down the alley-oop slam. And the Greek freak, boy, I tell you, certainly gets the green light. I mean, from that position especially. He's really developed into a nice score from that spot on the floor. It's good. Now, how about how he sets his man up there, runs him right into the screen, and then gets the basket. He'll find Antetokounmpo. And got it! Another basket! And he's been dominant here thus far. Shouldering the offense, G.A. really taking it to the opposition. Here's Hernan Gomez. It's rebounded by Peyton. And a big lead for them on both the scoreboard and the backboard thus far. Yeah, rebounding has been a big key in this one. They've asserted their will and have taken control on the glass. Now, here's Burks. He gives his team some nice contributions, averaging a bit over 10 points a game. Hill against Green. Dishes it to Martin. Back to Green. Over Hill. Excellent D there from Hill. Milwaukee's gone. Five of eight from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. Quick shot there, and it's off target. Minnesota's gone into the three-point range four times since halftime and buried two of them. Jump ball, jump ball, and a bit ball. of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. Jump ball, ball. And so it's Milwaukee with it. And so he'll bring it up for the Bucks. And the pass to Giannis. Here's Grady. Good, and the assist goes to Giannis. Andre DeCumbo's got five assists in the game. 109 left to play here in the third. And here is Green. He's got 12. Outside, Martin. Lock at six. Banked in off the glass. Martin's got his second bucket of the game to go. Milwaukee in total control to the paint. Here's Giannis. Yeah, just solid work on the back end of that play. Yep, you're right. Finish hard with two hands on that stuff. Yeah, highly efficient. Nothing extra special there. Just effective. Spellman the pass to Martin. Good work there as it goes. Martin's got six. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Hill looking around. Inside. Here's onto Takumbo. And yep, another basket. 60 points. This guy cannot be stopped. They've had no answer for him in this one. And so it's Milwaukee holding an unbelievable lead as the quarter wraps up. It seems like nothing they do can go wrong as they string together one successful possession after another and are simply running away with this one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. Now let's take a look at our assist of the game presented by State Farm. Uh, just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. Milwaukee has gone 5 of 8 from three-point land. 15 points and a deep ball for them tonight. We've got Reed, and it's Martin in at the two-guard spot, so that's the Timberwolves' five. A shot by Burks. Nobody around. Offline with his three. Here's a Kogi, and Martin now top of the key. Passes it to Hernan Gomez. And here's Reed. 
from deep three-point range. Rebound by Mahimi. He missed that one, but I've seen him drill shots from that distance in warm-up. Well, that looked to me, guys, like a heat check and was maybe a step out of his range. Here's Hill, and he gets it to go. You've got to give credit to how Hill just bounces off contact like it's not even phasing him. I mean, he really knows how to finish in style. Here's a Kogi. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on Hill. Josh Akogi at the line for two. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Dante DiVincenzo. He's checked in for the Bucks. No good on the second free throw. Milwaukee in total control. They've only given up one point in the fourth quarter. Payton kicks to Burks. Shoots the three. Minnesota with the rebound. You know, even though they're on top in this one, you'd like him to be better out there because he's capable of being better. It sure would make things a lot easier, too. And every once in a while, he'll show up and give you some great moves around the hoop. Last quarter of play, about two minutes in now. Now, here's DiVincenzo. He's guarded closely. That one goes. Count it. When you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. From deep, Hernan Gomez. The shot, no good. The Bucks go the other way with it. Burks for three. Offensive rebound. Mahimi's shot is good. Mahimi's got his first points in this one. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. you got to work harder on the glass. The finish was nice, but the setup was better. Yeah, G.A., the pick working to full effect before the stuff. And, you know, not enough help from the defense there to compensate. He gets a clean look, and that's exactly how you draw it up. And he gives that rim a good tug on the way down. Well, that's how you drive your point home right there. He's lucky to get away with that, though, guys. I mean, it could have earned him a technical for hanging on too long. And the basket by Akogi. Applying pressure at both ends tonight is Josh Akogi. Nice scoring outburst from him. Mahimi. Yeah, Mahimi with the stuff. And really, the story of this second half, one team getting the shots they want, the other not so much. And that's why you have such a huge gap in the shooting numbers between the teams. And all you got to do is look at the rebounding margin as to why they hold the lead. And you know what? That tells the story in a lot of games, guys. And here you go. It's telling the story tonight, too. Shoots from 14. That one off the back iron and out. And so Peyton will bring it up for Milwaukee. They've allowed just seven points here in the fourth quarter. Those defenders just look a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. And out of bounds as the Bucks gain possession. Here's a look now at what's coming up for the Milwaukee Bucks. On Friday, they'll face off against Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Sunday, they'll begin a road trip starting in Chicago against the Bulls. And that game against Portland. That's where you have got to bring your A game, especially when you know you're going to be fighting an uphill battle all night long. Well, Kogi's so good at forcing defenders into tough positions because of his Five. tremendous athleticism. Elbow. Two. Shooting for Minnesota, Josh Okogi taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, no good. And the Bucks making a change here. Grant's checked in.
He hits the second from the line. Boy, is he really getting after it here in the second half, just drawing a ton of fouls. He kicks to Peyton. Pass to Burks. There's the three. Vanderbilt with the rebound. He is single-handedly dropping the temperature in here with that cold streak. And he's got to find other ways to contribute then because his shot making is not happening right now. Here's a Kogi. Williams with the defensive effort. Milwaukee's gone ice cold from three-point land 0-4 since the start of the final quarter. Changing ends quickly, getting the advantage in numbers and finishing. They've been doing it all night long. You know, they've been the more up-tempo team, clearly. It's helped them gain the advantage in this one. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Davidson. Rebounded by the Bucks. Pass break, Milwaukee. Burks leading the charge. Nobody near Williams. It's good from long range. Williams has got five points now in the quarter. And over time, Williams has really tightened up his three-point shot. He's a legitimate threat from this area now. Here's the pass to Davidson. Here's Reed, guarded by Mahimi. And the layup is good. Adogi's got 24. And you're not going to pass up that kind of thing. Grant finds Peyton. Burks against Martin. Let's it go from 14. Burks can't get it to go. For Minnesota, they've gone 4 of 10 here in the final period. Not the time to go cold. Martin, the pass to Okogi. Burks pulls it in. Milwaukee's gone into a funk from downtown in the fourth. Only one of their five three-pointers has found the bottom of the bucket. And now you see them starting to really work the ball inside. Down low, here's Martin, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That's his second personal foul. At the line for your Timberwolves, Keelan Martin. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Jordan McLaughlin's checked in for Josh Akogi. So Martin nails both of them. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for the Bucks. No good. Minnesota's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. McLaughlin, the pass to Reed. Here's Grady. And another three for Milwaukee. He's just stretching them out. The defense has got to do a better job of staying attached to him. Yeah, especially with the score being what it is. I mean, you've got to tighten it up on D. Pass to Vanderbilt. It's stolen by Mahimi. Pass break, Milwaukee. Minnesota shooting 41% for the game. Here's Vanderbilt, and he drops in the way up off the glass. Really, really good at recognizing the gaps and getting the ball to the rim. Milwaukee has gone a disappointing 2 of 6 on three-point attempts here in the fourth. Mahimi dishes to Grant, and he banks in the layup. And that's now six points for Jaron Grant. The ball distribution was there. I mean, outstanding work all the way around. Has to Reed over Mahini. Reed misses. Tell you what, that is a missed opportunity from mid range for sure. With as little defense as was shown, should have made that one. That's his first personal foul. At the line of the box, Gary Page is the second. Two shots.
He misses the free throw. The Timberwolves making a switch here. Reed's checked in. Good on the second free throw. Minnesota's gotten off to an 0 for 2 start from downtown here in the fourth quarter. Davidson passes to Martin. Inside, here's McLaughlin. Outside for Martin. Clock at four. And not sure what he was thinking there. Peyton left side. He feeds it to Mahimi. Takes it from 10. They get the rebound. Second chance shot, and that's two points on the layup. How frustrating for the defense. You get the stop, but then fail to block out. Well, you know, that's the way it's going to be for them today, fellas. Can't sustain any momentum. Pass to Reed. Here's Vanderbilt, covered by Peyton. And the layup's good off the glass. Vanderbilt's got four points this quarter. Milwaukee's gotten a positive outcome on seven of their 14 three-pointers in this game. Not bad at all. To the paint. Kicks it to Peyton. It's picked off. And now the Timberwolves on the break. And count it. The shot is good. He'll go to the free throw line. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the bucket. Green, he's checked in for the Timberwolves. One shot. And here's Grant. He'll bring it up for Milwaukee. And there's the pass to Williams. There's 126 left here in the fourth quarter. Banked in off the glass. Well, guys, this was never really a contest. Just a total obliteration, if you will. And you can safely say mission accomplished now for Milwaukee. And this was one that never really was in doubt, I thought, an all-around dominant performance. And you kind of thought that maybe even going into the game. Yeah, th there was a sense of that in, in men. They, they just pretty much blew them right out of the water. A clinic was put on display here today. And so this will now translate to 14 wins on the season. And as we get set to put this one to bed, a one-sided season series thus far, they've won two straight. Yep, but two more to go before the end of the season, and they'll obviously be very confident heading into those two games. And you know, looking back at all the contributions tonight, it was a really phenomenal all-around game for Giannis. There wasn't much they could do to slow him down as he was converting every good chance he got. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Back to Williams. And he converts the layup. And it's just competing. You know, giving your best when it matters most. Yeah, you know, once they got victory in their view, a huge injection of energy and a great run to finish it off. So no problem for Milwaukee as they get the win. A resounding victory for them. And Greg in enemy territory, no less. Hey, that's exactly right. But with the way they controlled the game and, and just completely took the crowd out of it, that's how to get it done on the road. It's time now to go courtside as we send you over to David Aldridge from the sideline. David, take it away. Kevin, thanks. Giannis, an impressive performance for you. What was the key? You know, I just want to thank my teammates because they're doing a great job finding me. And I'm just trying to, you know, try to be myself and try to wait, wait for my time to finish it. Well, it looked great tonight, man. I appreciate it. Congratulations. Kevin, back to you. David, thank you as always. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. See you later. Thank <laughs> you.